So welcome everybody. Welcome to One Hand Meditation. It's October the 16th, 2022, and I'm back. I am, um, as I've mentioned, I uh, I was ill. Um, start. I think maybe Monday. I started a little bit this past Monday. Started, and then Tuesday, I really felt it. My body was just so tired. I just have to um, go to bed and sleep. <clears throat> for about two days and then after that I was um, recovering and then today yesterday starting yesterday I was feeling really good already so that's why I'm back for today um, before I jump into the the meditation I just wanted to really kind of give I wouldn't say a um energy update but just you know my experience of of the the past week that I was um, not feeling well I was actually I noticed that I was how should I say that um it was really easy for me to to cry and let things go I think maybe because my body was just not in in the best of shape that's why like emotionally I, I don't have as much energy to just be stoic about everything and so it actually was um, much easier for me to just you know cry and let things up as things come up and um, and that was exactly what I needed to do um, during that period of time because I uh, Jason Estes was uh, giving us some I would say data points updates and we are actually at over 200,000 now um, probably today we oh we are maybe at 230 because um today there was a big spike I really felt the big spike um this morning because when I woke up it was like I could see energy usually when I look up the ceiling like I the ceiling uh is always solid like I can see it as being one solid but um <clears throat> but this morning when I woke up and look up the the ceiling before I I got up the ceiling was fluid it was like you know, things moving around so that's how I know the energy really spiked really have a we had a high jump um I'm I won't be surprised if we jump another 10 20 000 points just overnight because um last two nights i haven't been able to sleep very well <laughs> and uh <clears throat> and also this morning i was seeing the the um, energy um flowing around rather than seeing a solid picture of a uh, of a um, the ceiling so I know that that's, you know, really the, the ceiling and everything is just all, um, it's not as solid as we think it is. However, most of the time our senses, our five senses um, gives us the illusion that it is solid, that matter is actually solid. However, when the energy is really high, um, our senses just cannot catch up to what it is actually is and that's why I'm seeing you know energy flowing around rather than seeing the 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 illusion of the solid ceiling so that's the kind of day that we have um it it is going to affect different people different ways so that's why with um I, I send out the email to to all of you that you know, just be very kind to yourself if you can, if you need to, and you can, then take naps whenever you can, because I felt really tired today, even though I did go out, um, did some grocery, <clears throat> but, you know, I, I felt myself really dragging, whereas yesterday, no drag at all. <laughs> I had an experience last night that I, I've never had before. Mm -hmm. I, I was dreaming that I was driving a truck and um, I came upon some trucks ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, my truck went over top of these other two trucks. 
and I went over a cliff. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And I went completely down, completely straight down a cliff. Mm -hmm. And I gasped. I gasped as I was going down. And then I said, okay, wait a minute, this is a dream. This is just a dream. Mm -hmm. and so I said, come on, you AIs, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. This is just a dream. But it was frightening. At the, in the moment, it was very frightening. Because it was so real. I've never had that before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, That's it's great. Possible, you, is it possible you, we're being scrambled by others? <laughs> um, well, you do live in the city. Um, you live in the city. So the the... The energy is quite scrambled, so I won't be surprised at all if that were the case. However, you do, like, as, as you already um, find out that you actually um, became uh, lucid or close to lucid anyways. Yeah. yeah did. So, yeah. So that was, that was, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So next time, then then um really get get lucid in the dream and then and then you know instead of dropping down is to see if you can make the the truck fly yeah, fly yeah. over that yeah, would that's be pretty cool eh? it's cool that yeah. i was lucid that's the that was I really cool yeah but it was that's freaking cool. frightening though <laughs> of course <laughs> but once you know that it's your dream and you have control over it then it's going to be great yeah <clears throat> You can have, you can really have fun. Yeah, fun. I, I think it's um, uh, what Jason mentioned is that once we are over 200,000 data points, which means that each hour is like we're going through um, 200,000 hours. We, we're living 200,000 hours in just one hour. So that's really, Break oh, wow. yeah. So we are really high speed now. So a um, couple of things is really be very um, <clears throat> mindful of your thoughts. Only focus on what you want. Focus on what you want. If you if you find yourself being a negative, which you, um, which you you probably would because that's that's what we are used to. We're used to, you know, always thinking negative thoughts. So, however, we can't do we can't do that. Um, it's it is time to start to catch ourselves. So, whenever you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts, and just stop and just just stop. Take a deep breath in, and think of something different. Think of something happy. Think of something that you actually would enjoy experiencing. So that's the, the best way to handle it and um, be really mindful of your thoughts. Only think of what you want and um, and also just, just enjoy yourself because we, <laughs> I was listening to, I don't know if anybody listened to, um, what was that? Deep Dive, number 27, which, which was some of old uh, Jason's older um, videos that he, he did a couple of years back. And, and this one mentioned that, you know, we, we all arrived. We all arrived in, in fifth dimension, in, in the fifth dimension earth. Are we solidly, solidly in 5D, living a 5D life yet? No, um, most of us are not. We still... We still, we just got through the tunnel and we are still adjusting uh, our lives and adjusting our, um, our thinking to really match the, the frequency. But we all got here, like we all got here. So <clears throat> how long are we staying? Nobody knows. And um, how much changes we can make, we, how, nobody knows as well. However, we now the energy is so supportive that whatever we think, it's we're gonna manifest. That's why um, the the I'm gonna. That's why I mentioned is to be very mindful of your thought. 
Because if you keep on thinking of, you know, bad thoughts, being nasty, self-talk, then you're going to drag yourself down very quickly as well. So just uh, be mindful of your thoughts. And when, as soon as you catch yourself thinking anything that you don't want to experience, just stop and do something different. So, but um, the 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 good thing is when you think of good things that you actually want to experience you would be able to manifest it much faster than before as well you don't have to slave and 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 do so many pushing 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 in order to make your dreams come true now we are in this we're we are actually living the uh, lucid dream now we're in our waking lives we are um, living in this lucid dream and this lucid dream is really the, um, the energy supporting us to create what we want to experience so that's from the 200,000 data points onwards um, that's it's a threshold that we actually crossed already so I just actually felt so um, happy and also it's, it's harder to hang on to things now so um, I, I, can you just give an example maybe of um, something that we would want like in turn what, what kind of something do we want you know what I mean like there's a lot of categories well, for example, what I want is for governments to be servants that they truly um, okay. are meant to be. And right now, they they try to be uh, the gods to, to, to tell us what to do. So okay. I actually, I, I think we do somehow still need a, a government, but my but what I want to experience is the governments actually do what they are supposed to do, is to take care of the mechanics, to be the to to serve us rather than be the taskmaster. So that's something that I want to experience. Okay, thank you. I just didn't know the scope of it. Yeah, and so and uh, oh, the other thing I want to mention is. Really love yourself. <laughs> really, really love yourself. Love your body. I remember, um, I think it was Saturday or Friday, I forgot one of these days. I was actually looking at my skin because I got nothing else to do. <laughs> I was actually looking at my skin. And it's like, usually when I look at my skin, my hand, I'm, I what I notice is more wrinkles <laughs> but then that morning I looked at my skin and all of a sudden I just thought huh interesting and I like I didn't I um the thought of criticizing my body just did not come across so that was wonderful and that that tells me oh that's what 200,000 k and uh, 200,000 does to us is that I'm no longer attached to the ego's point of view where I need to have flawless looking smooth skin in order to be acceptable. My skin can be whatever it is and I still love myself. So that's, that's, that's something so like small that I, I, I can share with you all. So, okay. <clears throat> Any other questions, comments before I go into meditation? No. no? Okay, then let's, um, so I'm going to, then let's uh, 